Okay, we've made sure that the valves are closed, the piston is down in the cylinder, and the next step is to ream the seat, or cut the seat, and then we'll uh, ream out the hole for the tap. So this is the seat cutter. It's got a uh, little Allen wrench right here. You pop this out and the tool itself is about this long and just fits up in this, what they call a wrench. And they also suggest to pack a little bit of grease around these flutes, these cutting flutes, so that when it cuts the uh, aluminum in the head, the grease, the cuttings, the chips should stick in the grease. And then when you pull the tool back out, you'll pull the chips back out and it'll leave a lot less of a mess down inside of the cylinder since of course we're doing this with the head in place. So I'm about to do that, put a little grease on it, drop it down in the spark plug hole. I've already blown the hole out a couple of times. I've looked at it with the bore scope, poked a stick down it to make sure that the piston was down, so everything looks pretty good. So the next step is to, like I said, put some grease on this, drop it in there, cut the seat. Now they suggest you can use a 3 8 uh, ratchet, so I have one sitting right here. I'll probably start it by hand just to see what I see how it feels, and then if that doesn't work, I'll put the ratchet on the end of it and you know cut it that way. You know, and I may cut the first one by hand and then you know decide that I'm comfortable with it and then cut the rest with the ratchet. So we'll see. But should be able to cut the seat and ream it with a ratchet. And then of course you'll want to tap it by hand, you know, in, in all conditions. So alright, let me get this back up the grease and start cutting the seat. Alright, so here's the seat cutter. Just pulled that out of cylinder one. So you can see that let's see if we can get a good focus on that. Well, there's not a whole bunch of chips, but there's definitely some in there. Let's see, I'm trying to find a good way for the light to catch this. And you can see the grease did catch a good portion of the chips. So, so the tip reams out the old threads. And then the fat piece here on the end cuts the new seat. And pretty much, I just did this one by hand. I just run it in there until it just spins freely. Just put it on the end of a 3H ratchet and just turned it and turned it and turned it till uh, it just starts to, you can tell that the cutting force is stopping and the tool begins to ride on the old seat and it just starts to spin freely and you know you're done. So I just pulled it out and this is what it looks like. Okay, we just took out the seat cutter and I cleaned it up a little bit, cleaned some of the chips off and some of the grease. So this is what it looks like. It has a square drive on the end that just slides down into this wrench which just has a square drive socket on it. It's got this set screw here on the side. And the next step is to use the reamer to cut the uh, spark plug hole in preparation for the tap. And we'll do the same thing. We'll pack the flutes with a little bit of grease, put it up into the wrench, and tighten the set screw, and cut it. I'll cut this one by hand, too, just with a 3H ratchet, just to get a feel for it. And then hopefully this will come out in a minute or two pack full of chips then we'll clean the hole and well then we'll tap it so we'll ream it then we'll tap it clean the hole set an insert and then or seat the insert and then set the insert all right next step is reaming okay so we finished reaming the hole and the the new seat and end up using the ratchet because well let me tell you what a pain it was so, I mean, it was a little bit tougher than, I used to end up using an air ratchet, not a hand ratchet, because uh, it turned out to be a little tougher than I was going to guess to cut it through. See, cutting the seat wasn't bad, but cutting the, reaming the hole was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. And so I started doing it by hand, and I got it up a little ways, but uh, you got to ream it all the way to the top to where it cuts this new seat right down here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but, uh, so we need to make sure that the reamer goes in all the way and reams it all the way up to this where it cuts the the new seat so anyhow that's what I did and uh, but I ended up using an air ratchet to do it I'm gonna clean this up and move on to the next tool okay the next step is the tap same thing you take the tap put it into this uh, wrench set the uh, set screw I'll pack the flutes with some grease and run in this I'll run completely by hand so this is where we're cutting the threads and this is the step, this uh, reaming and the tapping is the step where the valves must be closed because this tool will extend all the way into the cylinder and will nick the valves if uh, they're not closed. So here we go, I'll uh, hand tap this and we'll see how that goes.